Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Everyone loves the Cromwell. Everyone loves the Cromwell. There is nobody that dislikes the Cromwell. You either love the Cromwell or you wish you had a Cromwell. Everyone loves the Cromwell. So why don't we watch two Cromwell games? A Cromwell and a Cromwell B. And this guy is hot and skill from the Ebend clan? Ebend. Shout out to you guys, playing as Cromwell with two marks on his barrel. Let's go, come on. Let's go, everybody get out. Let's do it. And he drives this Cromwell in top-down mode because I guess he's used to playing artillery. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, it's me. I've got him in third person. Ha 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 ha. Okay, uh, while he gets into position, let me turn on my lights. I forgot to turn on my lights. I gotta turn on the lights. I'm There's one. There's... What's wrong with my lights? There's two. Enemy armor is hit. <sighs> How's that? That better? What did I miss? <laughs> What's the difference between the Cromwell and the Cromwell B? Uh, the Cromwell B is more expensive. <laughs> it costs money. Uh, you know, virtually, it's, they're almost identical. The gun, identical. The gun is horrible. <laughs> the gun doesn't hit anything. You have to fully aim and the shots go boop. Like they, like they arc across like a softball. <laughs> it's horrible shell velocity. It makes it... It is annoying firing the gun of the Cromwell. I kid you not, some of the people that love the Cromwell are going to get upset, but the Cromwell gun sucks. Okay? It has... Uh, uh, soft stats are horrible. When on the move, when traversing, even when fully in. Boop! And you need a good crew to make the Cromwell shine. You need snapshot, smooth ride, Brothers in Arms, Food, Vert Stabs, can you run Vert Stabs? Uh, also, anything you can get to improve the gun. Uh, those things, uh, the uh, field modifications, everything. Then the Cromwell shines. In the, in the hands of a really good player that has all that stuff, the Cromwell shines. But in other words, some people play the Cromwell and say, shit, this gun, this gun is just drives you nuts, right? But, uh, alas, he is going to take out this Cromwell, who is blind. A blind Cromwell is not a good Cromwell. So what's the difference between the Cromwell and Cromwell B? The, right, the gun's identical. Um, everything's identical, basically, except, except, uh, the speed is identical, I think 64 top speed. But the Cromwell B uh, has a faster traverse. It's more maneuverable. Uh, the traverse speed is, is better. But... But the Cromwell B has a little less horsepower on the engine. So it doesn't accelerate as fast, but gets up to the same top speed. So, uh, it, but nowadays with turbo, with field mods, a Cromwell can be faster than a Cromwell B. Or a Cromwell B can be faster than a Cromwell. Depends how you have it equipped. Because this game is no longer, you're not on a level playing field. Not all Cromwells are the same now because it all depends how you equip them. But all in all, the Cromwell is just one bloody fun tank, as they would say in uh, Great Britain. It is. It's a super fun tank. But uh, this is what uh, my love-hate relationship with the Cromwell. When I play it for a while, I love it. You, know, you get in the swing of things. You get in the groove. You, you learn to anticipate how to lead your shots. You, um, you get used to the show, slow shell velocity. You get used to its maneuverability. You can go spot uh, in a pinch, even if there's no light tank doing it. You're so versatile. And when you play it over and over and over again, you grow to appreciate and love the Cromwell. Oops, he just smashed into a Cromwell. But if you leave it in your garage for a while and you go play tier 10 and tier 9 and tier 8 and tier 7 and tier 9 and tier 10, you play uh, 500 games with other tanks, then you say, ah, let me take my Cromwell or Cromwell B out. Well, uh, you're used to playing. Uh, uh, you're used to playing tier nine and ten tanks and spamming APCR like a motherfucker. So you got 1,248 meters per second shell velocity, uh, and then you come and you play the Cromwell uh, B or the Cromwell again. You get this gun, <laughs> and you forget that you're gonna miss every shot unless you fully aim or unless you're really lucky. You forget about how goofy the gun handling is and how the shots just bloop. What's the shell velocity? Let's look. 
uh, the shell velocity is um, 785 meters per second. And on the premium round, 981. And on the HE round, let's not even look. Uh, 785. Okay. It's, you, you, you forget, right? And you go, holy shit, the crumb of this gun. But then you get in the groove again. You start to learn, I got to lead my shots a little farther. The shot's going to bloop in. <laughs> so I have to, you know. And on a ridge line, that's when you're trying to aim at someone on a ridge line, it's a little goofy because your reticle and your marker disconnect because of the bloop, the low shell velocity. You just got to get used to all that stuff. And when you get used to it again, you go, ah, I love the Cromwell. So everyone loves the Cromwell. <laughs> if you've never played the Cromwell, if you haven't gone down the British, you have no desire to go down the British medium line, or you don't own the Cromwell B. Um, maybe you just haven't played the British tanks. Going down the British line is not that great. Like it's, there's no big surprise at this. Surprise, you get the fantastic, uh, Centurion Action X, you know, it's not, and you just drove into a rock. It's not like you get a big reward for going down the British uh, medium line. It's more like a, the definition of grind, right? It's, it's a grind, and then what do you get? Well, not much. So a lot of players haven't gone down the British uh, medium line, so they haven't got a chance to play the Cromwell. So my advice to you, uh, close to feeling a little bit uh, perky this morning. I don't know why. I'm. I'm you're perky close today. My advice to you is, even if you're not going to go down the British medium line, get yourself a Cromwell. Get a Cromwell at least. It'll take you no time to grind down to the Cromwell and play it. Just play the Cromwell for hundreds of games. <laughs> and you will have so much fun. You'll be able to equip it if you want to do some spotting. Equip it with Binox, Gun Rammer, Vents. I don't know if it gets vert steps. It may be one of those tier sixes that doesn't get it. I, I can't remember. Uh, get the field mods. Like uh, do the elite it. Put a good crew in it. Um, play it again so you get all the experience to get the field mods so that it becomes a little bit even more maneuverable and everything gets a little bit better. A and keep playing it till you got your Cromwell. Till you get a super Cromwell. And then play it. Lead your shot, buddy, because you're going to miss. That shell velocity, you're going to miss. You see that? He has to lead his shots. Lead? Okay, he's stuck. Yeah, he made it easy. Play the Cromwell till you have it fully eluded and you got the full field mods. And then you will thank me if you've never played it. You will say, wow, I love the Cromwell. Because <laughs> it's just a fun tank. The other thing about the Cromwell, when you're fighting some, uh, in particular, Russian tanks... Um, the, there's a point here, like uh, you're facing an IS-3, you're facing, you know, an IS-3 in particular, let's use that as an example. Because the Cromwell shell does this, bloop, you know, like a, like a seven iron, you can be hull down and the IS-3, if he's a little ways away, don't be scared to aim for his roof. You know, just put so that your, your little reticle is just on the up, just the top pixel that you can pick on something like an IS-7. Uh oh, 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 snap! Whoa, ho, ho. okay, let's watch him take this guy out. This is a better premium tech, in my opinion, T3485M, but the Cromwell's gonna take him out. Look at this. He's spamming APCR like a motherfucker, and he's gonna make this guy pay for his slow reaction time. Oops! <laughs> Unless the artillery has his way with him. Help, he says. It's okay, you're doing fine, buddy. You're doing fine, but now you have 208. HP and that guy could hit you for 208. You're gonna get hit again by uh, someone in the rear and artillery. So just take him out. But oh, he did that guy low roll. What? No, 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 take it. You reload. Yes. Got him. And you get a British sounding person as your commander, which is also nice. Look at the maneuverability, even in reverse. Got him. The Cromwell's just fun. So don't be scared to aim for say the IS-3's roof, because. You just put your aim circle on the, the tip and the shot doesn't go zoom and bounce off the turret. It doesn't. It does this. Bloop, and it might hit the roof. The Cromwell, the Comet. Don't get a Comet. <laughs> Stop at the Cromwell. But the Cromwell will do that. You'll, uh, your shots will just magically go bloop into the roof. <laughs> and you can pen because you have premium ammo. 202 pen, you'll pen the roof of an IS-3 at range. Even at range. In fact, better at range if you're 300 meters away. 
even 400 meters away and it starts the the gun you know the the accuracy starts messing with you but two three hundred meters away the shot's gonna have some arc to it it's gonna hit the roof trust me start aiming for some roofs on the tanks you know that have soft roofs with the Cromwell you're gonna pen them this guy hasn't shown us that but he's shown us how to do so far 2328 damage and he's been maneuvered oh excuse me oh perky close oh Ready to go up for my bike ride right after this. What are you going to do, Cromwell? What are you going to do? You're fighting a, a Thunderbolt and an SU-100Y that were both detected on the other side of the map. You have no HP. You either just go in full speed. He's calling help, which I think means I'm going in full speed. Oh, no. This is not... But the guy didn't shoot you. He, you damaged him and the guy didn't return fire because he's a Muppet. He would have been dead. <laughs> He's calling help now. The third, the gamer. There he is, the gamer. Let's watch him. There he is, guys. The gamer. That's him. He's the gamer. <laughs> the Cromwell the Krom was a one-shot. The SU-100 decided not to shoot him. And now he's going to let the gamer go. Why not let the gamer go? Go on, gamer. You can do it. You've got a lot of HP, gamer. Oh, and there's there's the Thunderbolt. The Thunderbolt has arrived. The Thunderbolt wants to shoot the gamer. Where's the SU-100? There's... Yes, there it is. The Cromwell can flank. The Cromwell shoots. It's beautiful. The Cromwell did a flanking maneuver. The Cromwell takes him out. The Thunderbolt is thinking, Daddy, why is my tank not moving very fast? And the Thunderbolt... Ah! Too slow. Enemy vehicle destroyed. And that's because the Cromwell is maneuverable okay the artillery just shot go get him buddy the artillery just shot he shot you from somewhere over here and he missed and his teammates are telling him cap go and cap this cromwell driver does he have any concealment no he doesn't is that, oh, is that? i don't know is that a, some sort of a conceal i don't know Cromwell B we're going to watch next. So why not have a Cromwell that has all the kind of fun characteristics of Cromwell that also makes good credits? We're going to watch a Cromwell B game after this. Do not slow down, says the KV-1S. Do not slow down. He's trying to tell him, if you stop, that artillery is going to shotgun you. I think that's what he's trying to tell him. My engine is broken, says the VK. <laughs> <laughs> the guy says to the Cromwell, don't slow down. The VK says, my engine's broken. <laughs> Keep moving, says the KV-1S. Just Cromwell I'm speaking to. Don't stop. Keep moving. My engine's broken. <laughs> the and there he is. My engine, I'm the gamer. I forgot to bring a repair kit. I'm a gamer. My engine's broken. <laughs> what do you expect from me? I am the gamer. <laughs> and my engine's broken. <laughs> and the Cromwell's detected. He didn't know that he get detected there. But <laughs> what are you going to do now, Cromwell? What are you going to do? You are a one shot. Why don't you knock down a tree so that he knows you're coming? <laughs> okay, here he goes. He's trying to move a meatball. The gamer is heading. His engine's broken, but he's on his way, guys. He's on his way. Oh, he's spotted. <laughs> he's out spotted by the... Okay. He's magically spotted now, guys. <laughs> well done, Wargaming. Good spotting mechanics there. The Cromwell spotted through the rock. Oh, he's spotted again. <laughs> and he's dipsy doodling. Trying to get out of harm's way. Meanwhile, the VK, the gamer is on his way, guys. They've got 59 seconds left. Knock down the tree so he knows where you are and snap him. Oh, he missed. Now go get him. Don't stop. My engine's broken. <laughs> okay, can he do his needs three shots? Two. Don't fail him now. Don't fail him, gun. Yes, well done. Ah. Uh. Hot and skill. He ends up with 3,217 damage, 9 kills. My 
engine's broken, said the gamer. And he made 48,000 credits. Okay, let's watch Herr Krutz from the TWWLA clan. Shout out to you guys. Do it in the Cromwell B. Cromwell B gets this kind of, you know what it looks like. You've seen him with the, uh, yeah, the markings. Okay, let's do it. Please spot middle and river, says the tiger one. Is the Cromwell B going to spot middle and river? Let us see. He is in a tier 7 game. Tier 7, 6s, and 5s. The Cromwell doesn't care what tier it's in, guys. It just doesn't care because it's fun. <laughs> it's fast, it's furious, it's fun. He's moved into the obvious bush. Okay, that's it. Okay, there he goes. Yeah. He's not spotted anyone. Okay, he's being very passive. He's gone into kind of the, uh, the typical bush where you don't really spot anyone. You have to wait for people to spot for you. And now he decides to venture forward so you kind of wasted a, about 15 seconds there which is you're going to lose the element of surprise fear and surprise is what the cromwell brings those two things uh the fear surprise and a ruthless ability to get onto the battlefield quickly those three oh but i see you were too slow you could have had that shot but you got there too late oh and there's another guy there they managed to get there how did they get there before you maybe it's because you stopped for about 15 seconds in that bush. Huh? Huh? You ever thought of that? That's probably why. That's why you're detected. And now you're pinned. And you need to get out of there. You don't... It, it, you, you lost the element of surprise. So what is he going to do? He's going to go somewhere that's even a little bit more risky. He's going to poke this bush here, see if he can find anyone. Can he? Uh, no, no, those guys are behind cover. Can he? Uh, 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 be careful, be careful. Does he move forward? He's, he's got he's got balls. I'll tell him that. I'll tell you that much. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. He's he's moved into a position here. Uh, okay. He's uh, he's got teammates. He's got teammates on that side. So he's taken a position here, and he has not fired his gun yet because because I chose the wrong replay. That's why. There's someone. Don't shoot that guy. Shoot this guy. Yes. Uh, shoot the T3485M. Boom. Yeah. 137. Uh, and the gun just kills you by a thousand. Death by a thousand cuts. Oh, now you, you can make a count. But it, look at the aim time. Oops. It didn't go anywhere near where he aimed. <laughs> but that one did. We scratch them. Oh, easy. Yes, we damage them and uh, take them out on the battlefield. There he goes. The Cromwell. This is the fun tank, isn't it? And uh, it's tier 6. It's not tier 4 or 5, which is a, a little bit too low a tier, guys. It's a you know, tier 5 and 4 kind of shit shows. Tier 6 is a fun tier. I think tier 6 and 7 is kind of a sweet spot. And, and he keeps telling everyone, I'm spotted, I'm spotted, I'm spotted. Like, do we care? I always say this. Do, do we care that you're spotted? Ooh, yes, yes. Ooh, beautiful shot. This guy's playing the ridge line like a boss. He's shooting regular ammo. That guy's erected his peepee -pee because he's been hit three times. Got him. And he's firing regular stuff. 145 pen, 135 alpha. He's playing the ridge line like a boss. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> he did, did he get spotted there? Or has he been spotted the whole time? Okay. Now they're, they're behind the cover. Cromwell snakes around, weaves, dipsy doodles, and does his magic. Takes a hit. Track hit. Uh-oh. And he's telling the crew, or the team again, he's spotted. Team. Whoa! Yeah, the two dead crew members. <laughs> you can't rely on him. Oops. Oh, no, no. He's dead. Being hit by a Russian tank. Oh, no. Oh, oh, he's good. That one did go through. Keep him perma tracked. Permatrack, yes. Oh, and he's on fire. He shot the track wheel and lit him on fire because the modeling of modules in this game is precise. But he's got two, he's got a commander and a radio operator that are deed, are injured. And his first aid kit is on regeneration. <laughs> so he killed that guy with only three out of his five crew members. And he doesn't care. He doesn't care. Keep shooting. Right, to do this. What, what? Oh, look at this. He's... Oh, I thought I thought they were AFK. No. <laughs> They're playing. Look at them. They're both playing. <laughs> well, that always makes it uh, easier when... Uh, well, when the... 
I thought, what a surprise. Look, he's got two AFK heavy tanks. He's going to be able to farm some damage. <laughs> they weren't AFK. Now, this is the Cromwell gun. Look at this, guys. <laughs> this is the gun, right? At range. Like, it's... <laughs> it just goes anywhere. <laughs> it's, a, it's like golfing. You go four, you shoot, and it could go anywhere. You have no idea where it's going to go. But that was a nice shot. Gotcha! And he's waiting another second, and he'll have his... His health regenerated. Who's he gonna? Is he gonna? This commander or his radio operator? Might as well just not drive anywhere because he's got two dead crew members. And he, yeah, are you gonna use it? He doesn't care. This is a, what a what a showcase of the Cromwell B. The maneuverability, the agility. Okay, he's uh, re, um, healed his commander, and even with the dead radio operator, he's just. No problem. Maybe he's got a little less view range because the radio operator's dead, so he hides behind the house. He doesn't want to get the sniped from that T-67 or the Bretney's Panther. But I would just go in and get yourself some spotting assist, buddy. Come on. You got a TOG. You got a bunch of people behind you. Just YOLO in there. What, what are you doing? Come on. Showcase the Cromwell B for it. There you go, guys. That's the Cromwell B. Speed. Agility. Maneuverability, able to move around the battlefield and just dominate. There he is. Whacking his front of his head up against a house. What are you doing? Just go. Showcase the Cromwell Force. You could do it. I, I know you can. I know. Uh, they're, they're hiding. Go. Go, 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 go. Okay, here he goes. Oh, he spotted. The T-67 is somewhere around there. Where is the T-67? There he is. The T-67 bounced on you because he's losing 614. And now you can hit him on the roof. Oh. But he did manage to get some spotting assist. He tried his best, guys. He tried his best. He ends up with Brothers in Arms medal because he platooned and he got 2,765 damage, three kills, made some credits, and just had fun at tier six. Leave some comments, guys. Which one, Cromwell B or Cromwell? Obviously, Cromwell B for credits. They're both fun. Get yourself one. I'm not telling you to buy one. Grind the Cromwell and just have fun in the tech tree tank. Thanks for watching. Leave some comments, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.